Dirty Laundry, your home for true crime online. Like, share, subscribe. The search for Summer Moon Utah Wells will not go cold. We will not give up on Summer Moon. If you've never been down through the comments section, I just wanted to brag on some of the viewers and their feelings and submissions and theories and discrepancies about the case. I have a wonderful community here and I just want to say thanks to every single one of you who are still keeping the faith to find Summer Moon. I try, but I apologize in advance if I mispronounce some names. Micah Don writes, the 9-11 calls didn't match either. Remember hearing the dispatcher say mom went for a walk, came back, and the daughter was missing? Then in Candace's interview with the local news, she said she never went for walks because she was too scared of bears, snakes, and coyotes. She goes on to comment, the snake she needs to be worried about is named Don. <laughs> Spot on, girl. As BC asks, why didn't the TBI seize Grandma's truck into evidence and examine it properly? That's a good question. It was the last place Summer was all day long. It seems like it should have been the first place they searched. Misty Lewis and Jesse Hope started a great conversation about why didn't Summer have a state medical card for dentistry and health care? Uh, the best we can figure is that Don was just too proud to take help. He wasn't too proud to take help from his church, but he apparently didn't want state welfare. Apparently they had plenty of cash for everything else that they liked in their life, but not to take care of Summer. Sally suggests if there had been a long-term plan to get rid of Summer, they may not have wanted any dental records at all on her. Sassy Scouser points out H says she slipped underwater, but Candace denies it. John Hammer says, H says Grandma stayed in the truck to put minutes on her phone, but Candace says we went down to the river. John also points out that Candace says Summer went downstairs to play with her toys. What toys? Amanda Hudson says, do some research in Delta 8 Skittles. Weren't there Skittles on the back seat? Didn't CW say her favorite was Skittles flavor? So was it vapes or was it candy? Good question. Nefera says, thank you. We cannot let Summer's story fade out. Dawn and Candace, if you're reading this and you're wondering when will people forget, the answer is never. We will never forget Summer. And we will not stop until we have answers. Exactly. This one made me smile from Mary Guy. It says, for Summer's sake, the best possible outcome would be for this story to fade into the woodwork for 20 years and then have her show up living with Michelle after dark. Good one. These are just a few of the wonderful things that people have been putting in my comment section about Summer. They're not giving up. They're still full of hope, they're still praying, they're still searching for summer. Finally, I'd like to read you a poem that was submitted by May May. I hope I can do it justice. Gorgeous little summer moon, the world has lost you way too soon. If we could find you and make you safe, we're all holding on to our God's faith. Please, God, find summer safe. Bring her back to close the case. So much love and many prayers, purple hearts from all who care. We love you, Summer, so, so much, all the world you have touched. One day I hope you find this out and dance in the rain and laugh and shout. Come back, Summer, very soon. You will be protected, Summer Moon. Look closely. Summer is missing from Hawkins County, Tennessee. She is five years old. She was last seen June 15th wearing gray pants and a pink shirt, possibly barefoot. She has blonde hair, blue eyes, and weighs 40 pounds. Please, if you have any information, call the TBI at 1-800-TBI-FIND. Thanks, and God bless. 
thanks to everyone who commented. I'm sorry I couldn't get all the comments in, but I did grab some of the best ones, and I will try to include more in the future. Thank you. Keep praying for summer, and we'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.